I have a friend who dropped his laptop and it ruined his hard drive. He lost all the data on it. Windows 7 can help make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Hi, I'm Prashant Nagarati, an engineer on the Windows team. For the next four minutes, I'm going to show you how Windows 7 makes it easier to restore your files and programs after a hard drive failure. I can't restore my computer unless I have regular backups of my hard drive, so let's make sure my computer is being backed up. I'll click the Start button, type Backup in the search box, and then open Backup and Restore. You can see here that I've already set up automatic backups, which I'm storing on an external hard drive. Make sure that you set up automatic backups when setting up Windows 7. In particular, I'll need to make sure that I'm creating a system image. A system image contains everything on the drive, Windows, my programs, and my files. I'll need the system image to restore my PC if a hard drive failure causes me to lose access to everything. Here under Contents, System Image is listed, so I know that everything I need is being backed up. I also need something called a System Repair Disk. You can use it to start or boot your computer if Windows won't start, and it includes tools to help you repair your computer, including using a system image. I already have one, so I'm good to go. Be sure to create one using this option. Now let's suppose my computer's hard drive has failed. I turn on my laptop, and instead of Windows, I just see a message that my hard drive doesn't work or can't be found. Two common options at this point are to either replace my hard drive or possibly decide it's time to get a newer PC. You can use a system image either way. I've gone ahead and replaced my hard drive with a brand new one, so I'm ready to restore the system image on it. I'll insert my system repair disk and then turn off my computer. Then I'll connect my external hard drive where my backups are saved. Now, I'll turn on my computer and start the computer using the system repair disk. I'll select my keyboard layout and then click Next. This page lists some options. I'll select the bottom option since I'm going to restore using my backup and then click Next. Here's the restore wizard that you'll see. I want to use the last system image that my backup created since it's the most up to date, so I'll click Next. On this screen, I'll click Next, so that my new hard drive will be set up like my old hard drive was. I'll click Finish, and the restore process will begin. It might take some time, so don't turn off or unplug your PC during the restore process. It's done. I can now log on and use my computer again. Windows, my programs, and my files have been restored to my new PC. What a relief. If I hadn't created a system image backup, this would have taken me a lot longer. Reinstalling Windows, reinstalling all my programs, and then moving my files back to the right place. By using Backup and Restore in Windows 7, you can get your PC up and running a lot faster and with a lot less effort.